When I snagged the rectangular outlet box for my last piece of terrain, I noticed there were some round versions as well. I grabbed one, but didn't really have an idea what I was going to do with it. I pondered another access point, something with a hatch on top to serve as another entry to a fortified subterranean system, but instead of the freight troop elevator I had made with the other outlet box, this one is an emergency structure, something with just a ladder down into the bunker complex below. But then I flicked through some images and came across some shots that led me to look into creating some sort of communications array. Okay. So the basic material for the antennas will be some nice sturdy wooden barbecue skewers. I dropped a panel from the Emma's townhouse on top so models can stand there and then I selected a drill bit about the same size as the skewers and started making some holes in the top so I could slot them in. To add some texture to the sides of the piece, I cut a bunch of lollipop sticks to size to be reinforcing struts all around the perimeter. So at work, reps used to bring in weird freebies, and one time it was these three pens that looked awesomely sci-fi. I snagged a set and used the custom pen holder on my previous bit of terrain, and I still had the disassembled pens left over. The tips were perfectly sized to be the base for the skewers. Now, to break up the long smooth stretches of the antenna, I grabbed a few big fat plastic straws and to seal each end a Chenkao half bead. Grabbing each bead with a pair of pliers, I held them down and gently applied the drill. Sometimes the bead cracked, but eventually I got my selection that I could then glue to each end of the sections of plastic straw and then spear them with the skewer and then glue them into place and a variety of heights on the skewers. So inserting them into the pen tips and slotting them into the outlet box, and yes, looking rather nice. I cut a length of wire and with my pliers wound it around one of the sections of skewer to make it look a bit different to the others, break up that uniform appearance somewhat and give it a gadgety coil feel. Now, it wouldn't be an antenna array without lots of jagged spiky bits of tech sticking out in all directions. I achieved this with little bits of chipboard to hold cocktail sticks and clipped bits of cotton buds and other bits of skewer out from the main skewers. I ran the rounded ends of the sticks against sandpaper and twirled them as I did so to get a nice smooth rounded end. On a roll, I snipped down some other bits of a q-tip and added them to some sections of the straws. With the antennas pretty much done, I opted for a little square piece from the Emma's townhouse to be the upper plate on top and pondered, adding one of the pen lids as well. I added small Chen Kao half beads to the upper and lower areas of the lollipop sticks and then added another one in the middle. I also dropped the internal mechanism I drilled out from the ink cartridges of the pens and just dropped them on top of the antennas and they fit perfectly and look pretty good. I went into the interior and gave the spot where the skewers come through the top a generous blast of hot glue to make sure they stay stable. Okay, with assembling complete, time to blast the whole thing with matte primer, making sure to get in all the numerous nooks and crannies. And then, my standard breaking out of the army painter mithril silver, and then a steady dry brush all over to accentuate the corners, the beads, and the corners, and the highlights, and all the other bits and pieces. And here we go, in almost record time, another quick to make and excellent looking piece of terrain. This is an automated communication array, a linchpin in allowing the Imperial forces of this planet to stay in contact, relaying information from antenna system to antenna system, or broadcasting up to any vessels lurking in orbit.